Shabbat Shalom to the elect of Yah Sha'Allah. Shabbat Shalom to the other men, women, and children of Yah Sha'Allah, who Yahweh wa Yahweh Shah is going to have mercy upon them. Shema Yah Sha'Allah, Yahweh Allah Hayyanawa, Yahweh Achud, Barak Atha Yahweh. Barak Atha Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Racha Kodas, Kohulo Imla, Abanawa, Alahaya Nawa, Yahawa Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Racha Kodas, double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone, and much due respect to the sincere Akim who are laboring in works. Shalom to you believers, to the Akim wa Akwa, which be you brothers, and few amount of sincere sisters who will subscribe to this truth. Abarazza the lesson is edifying, plain upon the tables and straight to the point. Alright. This is your brother Malkaya, representing prophets of Pastor Given Texas Camp. In the news, type of lesson, two topics, pestilence, and um no work in Egypt. Alright. Say the Americans are about to start losing their jobs, and that will spoil you the Fed's dream no recession scenario. Vanguard top economist says it says applicants line up at the at a job fair at the Ocean Casino Resort in Atlantic City, New Jersey, April 20, uh, 22. Uh, it was last year. All right. But the point is, though, the title speaks loud and clear. Americans are about to start losing their jobs. And that will spoil you the Fed's dream. No recession scenario. Vanguard top economic says. So a lot of people here in America are about to lose jobs. Even CEOs are about to lose their positions all the way down to like entry level positions underneath the table type jobs. Jobs like cashiers. Uh shopping cart pushers all right um you never know and etc all right let's see um they say the federal reserve said last week that no long that it on it it no longer expects a recession in the, in the united states according to scriptures it will be but vanguard's top economist joe davis said unemployment will spike above 4% over the next year. And it's pretty a big number. It says, by the metric, it actually is a recession because you have very modest job losses, he said. All right. You don't have to get that deep into it. You know, the title speaks loud and clear for itself. All right. Let's move over to this. Uh, other article about the, the that trucking company yellow yellow is shutting down after 99 years here's what happened all right yellow corporation a bella good a, a trucking company that was once one of the u.s largest transporters of goods has seized operations operations and is planning to file for bankruptcy the teamsters union said in a statement on monday the company had been in operation for nearly 100 years but its financial challenges snowballed and the snowball is comparing to how like you know they had a problem in the past but it was very small and they didn't look at it as a big deal. But have you seen like in those cartoons where like when a snowball, a very small, a very small snowball, when it keeps rolling down a snowy mountain, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger to the point where when it finally hits something, that snowball is big 
and they, when it impacts something, it makes a big mess. This is no uh, comparison of what Yellow Corporation has experienced, man. That's why when you do have like a little small matter, try to take care of it as soon as possible because if you don't, it get worse, it grows bigger. All right, it grows until it rolls into a big snowball and then when it finally clashes, boom, big mess. Um, Yellow Corporation Trucking Company that was once one of the U.S. largest transporters of goods has seized operations and is planning to file for bankruptcy. The Teamsters Union said in a statement on Monday, the company had the company had been in operation for nearly 100 years, but its financial challenges snowballed, leading it to accumulate uh, accumul accumul that word fuck it lock it more than one billion dollars in debt all right let's see i just want to get straight to the point yeah 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 it is going to be a sad day for americans <laughs> it's going to be a sad a bad time for your americans Especially you Israelites in America that put your trust in Egypt, man. All right. They say the company received a $700 million government loan during the pandemic as part of the Vicky Vicky One Nana relief program in 2020. All right. And it says, why is Yellow closing? The shutdown comes after Yellow failed to reorganize and refinance the roughly 1.5 billion dollars it had as of march an outstanding debt and we're experiencing uh america america is experiencing a uh was it they like so in the trillions uh dollar debt all right america is in big debt man deep shit an outstanding debt a large portion uh, which came from the $700 million pandemic era government loan. At the time of the loan, the company was facing charges of defrauding the government by overbilling on shipments for the U.S. military. It ultimately settled the lawsuit and agreed to pay the Defense Department nearly $7 million. Damn. And down here, right? How many employees will be affected? Yellow employed roughly 30,000 30, people as of the end of 2020. It says a company filing shows. All right. So, you know, 30,000 was higher. And I remember watching a video too on their brother's channel, Arrows of in the Nation 144, how 30,000 workers right and 22,000 of them are are from the union something along that line all right that's a lot of miles that's not going to be fed because who knows how many of these people the 30,000 people have other mouths they need to feed they have children maybe they have elderly parents that's, that's live with them family members that's live with them right and they don't have work but he, she was the, the breadwinner of the family to be able to provide. And now, boom, it's a lot of miles that's not going to be fed. All right, tough times coming around the corner, man. All right, so let's get those scriptures very quick for the for this particular topic. Um, let's go here. There's no work in Egypt. The book of Isaiah, chapter 19, verse 15. Neither shall there be any work. For Egypt would be America today. Egypt, Egypt means bondage. So America is known as what spiritually Egypt and Sodom, right? So uh, it's a modern day bondage for us Hebrews likes, and it's very you know happy here. I'm gonna say like very very rainbow, very fruit loop here. All right. Neither shall there be any work for Egypt, which the head or tail, branch or rush may do. So there's not going to be any work for really high positions like CEO positions. 
regional positions and etc all the way down to the tail the very lowest position you can possibly think of think of like entry level positions jobs where you don't really need much credentials to get hired like a cashier at 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 a dollar store right a cashier at Kroger's, Walmart, some kind of supermarket, you know, a cashier in general, McDonald's, right? You don't really need much credentials. Uh, under the table jobs. Um, the tell, think of like um, strippers, for an example. Only fans. All right, and the list goes on. All right, so when you go, uh, when you go into that word work, right? Uh, you're going to go into that very quick. Anywhere. Here we go. Strong's H forty six thirty nine. Maasai. Maasai. It says, let's see. Um, right, labor. Right, you see down here. Labor. Okay. Let's see. Occupation. All right. Operation, all right. Business, okay. Oh, oh my bad. All right. This says deed work. Let's see, work, labor, business, enterprise. Let's see. All right. So when it says neither shall there be any work for Egypt, there's not going to be any enterprise for America no no labor no operations all right for as high as ceo positions all the way down to like entry low positions strippers only fans cashiers and etc that's how bad it's going to get out here with no when there's no work out here man all right i process how that makes sense okay the book of ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 3 to 4 kjv in the day when the keepers of the house, the keepers of the house is also known as the economy, right? The economists. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bowl themselves, right? The rich, like your one percenters, you know, even, uh, you know, those who are part of like the one percent group, like these billionaires and trillion, these billionaires pretty much, right? Are going to bowl themselves. They're going to feel that squeeze. Okay. Um, and the grinders seize because they are few. Remember, it mentioned how the unemployment rate should increase by 4% uh, next year, right? In that article, how many Americans uh, are going to lose their jobs. It says, and the grinders seize because they are few. And those that look out the windows be darkening. Meaning what? When people start losing their jobs, those who put their trust in America, who went to Egypt for help. Who, who depended on on the oppressor are going to be in a state of hopeless. They ain't going to have nothing else to look forward to other than you know, the elect. The hopeful elect have something to look forward to. They they look forward to uh, a new a new a new heaven or new earth, a, 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 a new society that that's about to take place, that's coming to pass. Right, the end of Esau and the beginning of Jacob that followed. The end of the era, the age of the so-called white man rulership, and then Yahshua Allah uh, being in rulership, starting with our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai of Mashiach, All right, and the King David, uh, the, the House of David is being set up, man, and in, 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 in government, we have something to look forward to. But those who lack faith, the Israelites, Israelites that lack faith, that put their trust in America, they ain't gonna have nothing else to look forward to. They ain't gonna have no peace. And those that look out the windows be darkening. Verse 4. And the doors shall be shut in the streets. Right? A lot of these businesses are just shut down. One after another. Block after block after block after block. You just see stores just all foreclosure. Out of business, man. Taped up. Bored up. Alright? With plywood. Whatever, right? Alright? Grocery spots. You know, let's say non-essential business pretty much. Alright? Like what happened, uh, the, the the lockdown we had, I think in 2020, 2019, you know, the Vicky Vicky lockdown, 
a lot of these businesses that were known as non-essential, you know, it's, it's not really important to the to the to society were, were closed down. Those doors were, were shut in the streets, like beauty salons, barber shops, commercial gyms. All right, little independent little businesses here and there. Right, we're all shutting down, man. I expect a lot more of that again. Okay, a lot more businesses being being out of business. Okay, and the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of grinding is low, because not many people are working, so there's not gonna be much grinding going on. Uh, these jobs that's very noisy like construction businesses not many people are going to be working not many firefighters are going to be working not many many police officers are going to be working all right it's going to be kind of quiet out here landscaping company you know like usually every monday tuesday wednesday whatever days they, they usually come to your property to cut grass and you know pretty much cut trees you no know, kill trees you no know, harm them and shit like that all right expect the grind to cease man because many people are out of work all right, those who are like like in the in the meat market, the deli part, you know, they they cut into cold cuts and stuff. You know, expect the sound of grinding to cease, man. You know, there's not many people going to be working. Very few are going to be working, man. All right, and the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of grinding is low. And he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. All right, so it's going to lead to no work in Egypt, no enterprise in America, no labor in America, no operation in America, no work. All right, from CEO positions all the way down to someone who doesn't even have proper credentials. You know, if I'm talking about right, they don't got proper credentials, but they still able to, you know, get paper checks or get paid by cash, and cash is about to get do about to get done away with, man. All right. So let's move on to the next topic, the pestilence one. Let's see. All right, this one right here. Biblical disease spikes in Florida. CDC leprosy alerts. All right, leprosy. Let's take a look into that. All right, see, that's like a, an image of what leprosy looks like. All right. Leprosy, also known as Hansen's disease, is a long-term infection by the bacteria, that word, okay? Um, infection can lead to damage of the nerves, respiratory tra uh, tract, skin, and eyes. This nerve damage may result in a lack of ability to feel pain, which can lead to the loss of parts of a person's extremities from repeated injuries or infection through unnoticed wounds. An infected person may also experience muscle weakness and poor eyesight. All right. This also goes into for the noun, a contagious disease that affects the skin, mucous membranes, and nerves, causing discolor discoloration and lumps on the skin. In severe cases, disfigure in severe cases, disfigurement and deformities. Leprosy is now mainly confined to tropical Africa and Asia, so it's very contagious. Okay, and that's a similar term for pestilence. All right, you're gonna get that too. I'll be out to prove it. Cases of leprosy, an infectious disease that has been around since ancient times, yep, it mentions that in the Old Testament, have increased dramatically in Florida. And health experts fear the infectious disease is now endemic to the sun sunshine state. Endemic is pretty much similar to uh, epidemic. Let's look that up. All right, endemic of a disease regularly occurring within an area or community compared with epidemic. Yep. Pandemic is just a wider area. P 
pandemic is like nationwide, global wide. Epidemic is more like a like a community, maybe like a town, a city, a county, right? It's like this is a size difference. All right. Let's see. But yeah, you know, I want to get that too deep into it. Let's see. You know, that's pretty much the point there. You know, we're seeing diseases coming back from ancient Egypt, like the scripture says, how our power is going to send plagues upon the like from 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 ancient Egypt. So uh, just paraphrasing, but uh, we're going to get that too. And there was another one that caught my attention. Uh, this one right here. It says, "Beware." Texans are being warned about a deadly medieval disease present in Texas. Whatever happened to chicken pox in Texas? I literally ask that question all the time. I just feel like one day chicken pox were no longer part of a conversation. When I was growing up, everyone caught the chicken pox. I don't care if you had your shots or not. As a matter of fact, you might have got chicken pox twice. This is what uh, it looks like. I actually grew up with a a cousin who, when he was like maybe eight, seven, you know, around there somewhere, he had chicken pox. And I saw it, man. That shit looked like very painful. He was in a lot of pain, head to toe. It says, our children's generation probably will never know anything about chicken pox unless we tell them or if chicken pox decides to make a make its debut again like a well-known medieval medieval disease that has texas in an uproar right now according to the u.s sun there was a doctor who found himself very shocked to see a man with a rash on his body here in texas and what the rash was actually diagnosed as. At first, the Texan visited a dermatologist for at least three months and nothing could be detected besides him having symptoms of numbing and tingling in the patches of his skin. All right, so let's get the scriptures for this. All right, the book of second Edges, chapter 15, verse one through four. It says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy to speak unto Yahshua Allah, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, Native American Indians, those that's on this chart right here. Okay. So-called American blacks, so-called West Indian blacks, so-called Haitians, and the Puerto Ricans, Cubans, Dominicans, Guatemala, to Panama, Nari the Mayans, Native Americans, Seminole Indians, Colombian, you know, the, 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 uh, the, um, Incas, right? Aztecs would be the, the Mexicans and Argentina and Chile, right? This is who is speaking the words of prophecy onto. Right? No 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 one knows. I could say it's my people. And these are the chosen people of Yahweh, our heavenly father, and our only uh and his only begotten son, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Alright, which Yahweh Shai is also a Hebrew like Part of Yahshua Allah from the tribe of Judah, a so-called black man. This tribe, the head tribe of our nation. In Hebrew, Yahawada. Alright. Um, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy to tell you before. To tell before, right? To tell you what's going to happen before it happens. Something that's going to happen in the future. Which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, and cause them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true. Right? Whenever we go into prophecies, we read from the from the scriptures, from the from the book itself too, the Holy Bible, right? The bitter parts of the scriptures as well, too. Right. Uh they are written in paper for they are faithful and true. These are the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Right? Uh, it says, fear not the imagination against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Incredulity, unable to believe. So two-thirds of our nation, so-called so -called blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, Native American Indians, men and women, are unable to believe in the true names, Yahweh, Bashmiel, Shai, 
this word, this doctrine, unable to believe in prophecy, unable to believe in the truth, pretty much. And then, you know, of course, the other nations, Adawamium, Edomites, Gawayim, heathens, the, all the other nations, right? Don't let non-believers trouble you believers from believing in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and doing his will, operating whichever lot that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai has given you that supports this ministry and supports the house of David. Bayat Shadawada. All right, screw their 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 non beliefs or whatever beliefs that the people of this world has. All right, because guess what? Verse four: For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. So a lot. So it's gonna be a lot of uh, non believers. That's going to be dying, man. Those who are trying to establish their own righteousness, leaning upon their own understanding, of, you know, right, um, are going to die in the unfaithfulness. A lot of non-believers are going to have to die, man. All right, they're going to have to learn the hard way. All right, I usually like bringing out the scripture out because it's like a, it's like a major warning. Like, hey, if you don't want to believe, hey. Let, let the non-believers die in their non-beliefs, man. Second Edges chapter 15, verse 49. I will set plagues upon thee. Widowhood. A lot of women are about to be widows, man. You're about to be headless out here. A lot of you Israelite women are about to be headless. You might have no man to protect you, guide you, lead you, provide for you. When all hell breaks loose. Poverty, famine, right? Starvation, hunger, a severe lack of goods. Sword. Right, the missiles, the nukes, Esau Edom himself, right? His blessing, like, you know, the, you know, of course, the nukes, the missiles, you know, his drones, his AI robot, his AI killer robots, and etc. The, the Vicky Vicky Juicy, right? And etc. And pestilence to waste thy houses with destruction and death. I would send plagues upon thee, widowhood, poverty, famine, sword, and pestilence. To waste thy houses with destruction and death. Pestilence. Oh, shit, my bad. Uh, to look up. That's what I meant to click on. Look up. Pestilence. A fatal epidemic disease. Especially bubonic plague. Alright. And then when you go into similar terms. Let's see, give me some similar terms up here. Alright. You got plague, bubonic plague, the black death, contagious, remember, contagious disease, right? Leprosy, right? Is a contagious disease. Contagion, infection, sickness, epidemic, right? Endemic, right? And the list goes on, all right? I will send plagues upon thee, widowhood, Prophecy, famine, sword, and pestilence to waste thy houses with destruction and death. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verses 58 to 61. I like the beginning verse in the KJV. And then the, the rest is really good. And G and C is very plain, very simple. It says, If thou will not observe to do all the words of this law, right, Yahshua Allah, he was like, that are written in this book that thou mayest fear that thou mayest fear a lot of our people don't fear this glorious and fearful name the Lord Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai thy God right so if you Israelites don't want to fear his name and serve I will create it in the best of your uh, best of your ability. Well, guess what? Verse fifty nine. He was sent on. This is the the good news translation. He was sent on you and on your descendants incurable diseases and horrible epidemics that can never be stopped. He will bring on you once again all the dreadful diseases you experienced in Egypt there's leprosy coming back all right if you was paying attention in the lesson this uh 
he will bring on you once again all the dreadful diseases you experienced in Egypt, and you will never recover. He will also send all kinds of diseases and epidemics that are not mentioned in this, in this book of the Most High's laws and teachings, and you will be destroyed. He will also send all kinds of diseases and epidemics that are not mentioned in this book. That's not mentioned in the Holy Bible of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai's laws and teachings, and you will be destroyed. All right, let's end it with this one right quick. Cause it's gonna be a time like never before, man. Twenty-four and twenty-one, if I'm not mistaken. All right, let's start with the KJV first. The Book of Matthew, chapter twenty-four, verse twenty-one. KJV, for then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, no ever shall be. Let's get the GNT. For the trouble at that time will be far more terrible than any there has ever been from the beginning of the world to this very day. Nor Will there ever be anything like it again? So it's going to get so bad out here when all hell break loose. When the day of the Lord is finally upon, upon this, upon this globe, upon America, it's going to get it's going to be so bad out here that we're going to be seeing things that we never seen recorded in the Bible. It's, it's going to be it's going it's, Jacob's trouble is going to be terrifying. Okay, very terrifying. It's going to be a time like never before. It's going to be so terrifying that there's never going to be a time like it again on earth. All right. That's how scary the day of the Lord of Yahweh Bashmi al is going to be, man. So you Israelites that's still playing around, you better stop screwing around, man. All right. Better get your ass in order. Repent to Yahweh Bashmi al or perish, man. All right. Cause, uh, let me get this right quick. Second Chronicles um, 15 and 13, KJV, speaking to you Israelites, right? That whosoever would not seek the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, power of Yahshua Allah, should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman, right? G and T, right? Anyone, right? Any Israelites. Young or old, male or female, who did not worship him, right? Who did not worship Yahweh Bashmi Oshai, must be put to death. And that's going to happen. Two thirds of our people are not going to want to worship Yahweh Bashmi Oshai. You know, male, female, young or old. So they're going to have to be put to death, man. All right. All right. And Alvaraz is that, you know, for you to say believers who are not, uh, who has the repentance. Repent to you how about Shemiah was shy yet. I brought this out, you know, you come across a lesson that teaches you the fear of the Lord and puts that fear into you and you're quickened in the spirit, man. You repent, man. Um, let's see if I can find it. Uh, be quickened in the fear of the Lord, something along that line. Because only when the elect Here's his word. All right. They're going to uh, be quick in the spirit through the fear of the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Shai. When they hear about these uh, prophecies that's about to take place on earth and they're going to repent. Let's see. It says, In the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai is strong confidence, and his children shall have a place of refuge. Yep. You know, having uh, fearing our Lord is a good fear because it keeps us in check. All right, it keeps us in order, so we do not uh, go astray from our from our power. All right. Um, I wish I knew exactly how to word that scripture. Um, I would that if a brother come across this lesson, about uh you know, copy and paste that scripture in the common voice. Uh, 
I'm gonna close out. All right, I brought this out the lesson was edifying. All right, I'm gonna close out by giving the much do all phrases, honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rachacha Kodas, Koholoim La, Abanawa Alahaya Nawa, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rachacha Kodas, and double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone, and much due respect to the sincere Akim who are laboring works. Shalom to you believers, to the Akim, Wa'akwa, which be you brothers, and few to my sincere sisters who subscribe to this truth. Alright. DTA, Abad Baba Soon, Kwam Yasha Allah. Abba Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Baba Kushar, Shalak Rayum, Wa Inashim, Wa Abalium, Wa Haragium, Wa Mashapayum, Al Ko Adawamium, Wa Gawayum, Wa ayab yab na wa, wa la ha marayim, wa la baba, aba baba, aba baba, aba baba, ba kusha, ba kusha, ba kusha, yahawa, ba hashim, yahawa shai, the water, aman.